Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan with your Morning Knit Digital News Brief for Friday, May 27th. The investigation continues into a house explosion last night in Pottstown. The blast killed four people, injured two others, and leveled three homes. Debris from those houses is scattered across the neighborhood. Two other people may be unaccounted for. Investigators in Uvalde, Texas, say the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers entered Robb Elementary School unobstructed through an apparently unlocked door. There are also new questions about how long it took for authorities to kill the gunman and stop the rampage. And officials at Philadelphia International Airport expect roughly half a million people to come through the airport during the Memorial Day weekend. With severe weather expected later today, make sure you check with your airline before you head out to the airport. Let's get a check of the Eyewitness News weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Tammy Souza. Well, hey, Jim, it is a foggy start in some areas, but we're going to kind of finish the day with a big boom of uh, the possibility of severe weather. Let's take a look at what you need to know. Afternoon and evening storms do develop. Some of them could turn severe. The timeline is between 2 and 9 when we'll see storms potentially, but I think that the key period for severity was between about four and seven. Flash flooding is also a very big potential with all of these storms. You can see right now moving through the western part of the state, we have these storms training again and again over the same area. We've had some tornado warnings coming out of Virginia, so that's the concern once they finally reach us that they will turn severe this afternoon. As we move through the day, we'll see those storms approaching between about two and four into the Lehigh Valley, about four to seven across Philadelphia. We'll see them scattered in uh, South Jersey between about uh, seven and nine, and then overnight we could see some isolated showers and storms making their way through the area as well. As far as flooding, yes, from 1 o'clock today through midnight, we have a flash flood watch. The best chance for rain again after 2 o'clock and extending through the evening. 81 today with a severe storm threat to later on today. 82 tomorrow, 85 Sunday, a nice day there, and a steamer, 90 on Monday. Jim? Oh, boy. Thank you, Tammy. And remember, you can always get Tammy's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.